First, Attorney General Loretta Lynch is coming to Orlando to meet the families of the Pulse nightclub shooting victims. The club just released a statement a short time ago saying in part the building is in control of law enforcement who will oversee some of the cleanup. The building has been secured and will stay closed to the public once the owners take possession. We also just learned that as of this morning, ORMC has treated 44 victims. 19 of those have been discharged, but 16 are still in the hospital. We're told four are in critical condition. And since the shooting, surgeons have performed 57 operations on the victims. New Six investigator Mike Holfeld joins us now in studio. And Mike, after Loretta Lynch visits the victims, we're expecting to learn more about the investigation, and you are going to be there as she releases the new information. That's right. Good, or good afternoon, everyone. The Attorney General feels like evening. The Attorney General will be briefed by investigators and talk to us right after that briefing. Her arrival comes amid questions surrounding the release of the 911 transcripts without the audio recordings. Governor Scott telling News 6 the families he met with want those recordings released. What I think about is these families. You know, you might have impacted your family. You'd like to know why did this happen. And I think they ought to, they ought to put out the, uh, the transcripts. I think they ought to put out, you know, the audio so, so, we, so we know what happened. Now, Attorney General Lynch will be meeting with the families who lost loved ones at the Pulse. It's very possible they may ask her to help them get those recordings released. Now, the other issue is gun control. There's a new compromise bill being fine-tuned on Capitol Hill, expected to be introduced Tuesday. Let me just put this out for you. This would impact roughly 2,700 people on the no-fly list and the so-called selectee list. That list calls for additional screening before boarding. The bill is being spearheaded by Senator Susan Collins of Maine. I'll continue to watch that for you. Now back to the 911 calls just for a moment. News 6 has learned there are 603 calls to Orlando police and fire during the three hour period surrounding that deadly event. So far, the city has refused to release any of the audio even though the governor is calling for more transparency. The Attorney General will meet with reporters around 2.15 this afternoon. I'll be there, and News 6 will carry the briefing live on air and on ClickOrlando.com. Justin? Mike, thank you so much.